Welcome to Culture Slate. My name is Matthew McKinney, and I'm here with the cast of Sketched Out, Kelsey and Michael. Hi. So I'll just start from the top right now. Do you think your guys are similar to your own characters? Uh, yeah. So uh, all of our characters are kind of based on sort of tropes uh, mm -hmm. that are in the film industry. And my character, Olivia, is personally a, like, She's into like nerd culture, so Marvel and Star Wars and Avatar and that kind of thing. And I am also into that kind of uh, those kind of uh, genres. So I would say that I'm pretty similar, and I think all of us are pretty similar to our characters in certain ways. Yeah, I think we, in filming and going episode by episode and getting to know each other as people better too, we found very fun and sometimes obscure similarities. Whether it was uh, having really strong opinions on classic films or loving Marvel or just wanting everyone to get along <laughs> and kind of pacifying everything. Yeah, I'd say so. I guess that begs the question, is there anything about these characters that seem to stand out as different than your own? Um, my character, I mean, I'm like a little clueless sometimes about stuff, but I don't think I'm that clueless. Mark um, tends to be pretty knowledgeable about nothing. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I think uh, it, it's an interesting aspect of Mark that makes him a little more endearing and not just kind of like the everyone should get along um, sort of character. So I appreciate that. Um, okay, so things that I kind of found that I maybe wasn't so similar to Olivia in is uh, Star Wars. So I don't actually know as much about Star mm -hmm. Wars as Olivia does. She has a lot. There's a whole episode that we do about Star Wars. and. There's a lot that I had to uh, have explained to me because I I am not nearly as big of a fan of Star Wars as I have I am of Marvel. So, what were your guys' first impressions of each other? Well, we got to meet on a car ride over because we yeah. decided to carpool. Um, and you know, meeting someone for the first time, especially like you're about to work with them for a while, you're always trying to make a good impression. Maybe you're a little nervous, a little more shy. Um, but once I think we had like. Was it Carmen? We had a song come on the radio or come on my iPod that like we both went, oh, this one. And I kind of knew it was like, oh, we're going to get along just fine. Yeah. It was like a nice little um, easy intro to each other. Yeah, for sure. And uh, before like coming on set, I was like a little bit nervous just because I had never met these people before, like anybody besides just on like um, like our Discord meetings that we had all done together, uh, a couple of those. But I mean... My first impression of Michael was, I mean, he's just a really nice guy. And we were, uh, like, on this car ride together, and it was, like, what, like, a little under an hour? And so we kind of just talked for most of the car ride and just had music on in the background. And we're just getting to know each other before we had to come on set and then pretend that we had already known each other for a while. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite memory on set? There's so, so many. So many. <laughs> you got to sit through them all. Pick one. Okay, so I was going to pick a memory. Uh, there are moments, of course, when filming where, you know, you're supporting your fellow actors with storylines off camera. Um, and some people on set had a really hard time keeping it together or like trying not to interact with some of us who were working at the moment. And um, yeah, I think just the camaraderie on set was really fun and supportive um, and very silly, which I think lent itself to um, the quality of the production. I agree. And I think a lot of what makes, uh, like what a lot of us enjoyed about Sketched Out and like filming uh, all of the episodes and everything was that we were able to like kind of play with it a little bit and we were able to, you know, I feel like this would be a good line to add or I feel like this would be like, you know, something that the character would do that mm -hmm. would be like, funny for us to add to the the episode and like we especially for one episode in particular we did a lot of um working around with the blocking to make sure that we were like hitting all the right beats and making sure that we like had those funny moments mm -hmm. and i think it's kind of like a collection of those moments where we were able to like kind of all talk together and figure out what we wanted to do like and what would be like cohesive between all the characters so which leads me to my next question What's your favorite episode? My favorite episode? I mean, the meta episode was a blast. It was so good. I it's was kind of hard not to hone in on that one. Yeah. I think as actors too, or especially like with sitcom, you're kind of working fairly, 
I mean, not hard, but you're intentionally working to make comedic moments happen. Mm -hmm. So to be able to kind of let some of that go and break the fourth wall and interact with the camera uh, and just kind of let loose a bit was very refreshing. Yeah. And I agree, I really liked the meta episode as well. And uh, But I think if I was to have like a favorite episode that we did, I think the pilot. I mean, the pilot is just obviously going to be like a really fun one for all of us because it was like the first one that we ever did. And we were able to play with it a lot. And we probably filmed that one the most for... Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, reshoot reasons. Do you have a favorite behind-the-scenes story? So many. <laughs> so many. My favorite behind-the-scenes story is... Singing Aware is my hairbrush mm -hmm. with a bunch of people who are big VeggieTales fans. <laughs> um, at lunch one day, I appreciate VeggieTales to my core. And the fact that I had people supporting me in that, it was a moment. <laughs> um, for me, like, I think my favorite behind the scenes moments are always just whenever we do something that's like, just inherently like really funny and we're and we just like keep going with bits and like uh i mean a lot of these like behind the scenes moments you're actually going to see in like behind the scenes like clips and pictures mm -hmm. and everything but a lot of what we did was just us having fun as ourselves and it just happened to work out that um we were filming and captured it on camera so i mean i think it's just a collection of of moments that we had where we were all just goofing around playing with accents and like especially in the meta episode we really um Silly. like went went ham on that <laughs> do you still stay in touch yeah. yeah yeah i i will attest to being someone that might be a little hard to reach um with life going on mm -hmm. but i can definitely speak to like getting back together is like no time has passed of course, yeah, and like being able to see Michael again was a lot of fun because I mean I haven't seen him since filming. We have talked in a minute, but we haven't actually seen each other in person mm -hmm. for couple months. months. Yeah, couple months. And uh, I mean I've I've hung out with a couple of the people uh, like in person. Like for my birthday in March, I went out with a couple of the people um, from crew and cast, so mm -hmm. that was fun. And um, I've seen some shows uh, that uh, one of our cast members was participating in. So. It was fun being able to kind of support everybody outside of the show. If you could play any other character, who would that be? In the series, I mean, I think all the characters are just such big personalities. I think they're all fun in their own way. Um, if I was to play any of them, I think I'd like to play Michael's character, honestly. I think Mark is a really fun character that gets to, like, have random moments of, like, guys what like what are we talking about here and he has the like the mediator kind of personality which i really like and i think that would that would be fun but yeah it's definitely a lot of fun um if i had to pick i'm a little um masochistic and <laughs> monologues actually can be like really fun for me in crafting something and i think actually kelsey's character olivia has some pretty beefy monologues <laughs> um that'd be really fun to like pick apart um Olivia and some, like, is a ranter for sure really fun opinions <laughs> a lot of time with baby yoda grogu so all those things i think also make for a really fun character and a really interesting challenge in the series yeah is there any other topic you would like to cover in another season i i hear that the, the disney episode is in the works yes yes which would be fun and it definitely is a hot topic to chat about Mm -hmm. you think, um, I always, we have been talking about this literally probably since day one um, mm. when we were filming the first episode and when we met um, doing a musical episode because oh. we, all, we all sing, we're all like musically inclined people and so being able to do a musical episode would be a lot of fun. It would be obviously a bit of a pain to um, work around just because we haven't sung in any other episode a lot but, of moving parts um, yeah for yeah. sure it would it would be fun though for sure i i would love to do a musical episode now culture slate is so much about like uh the myriad fandoms that these characters are really the general population is enjoying is there any fandom you would say you're a part of oh geez i'm i'm kind of like i've got my toes in a little bit of everything i don't think i'm like diving into the deep end or like swimming down there for anything in particular but um similar to mark i guess i've just kind of got like a general knowledge of a lot almost anyone you can think of 
Yeah. I like a lot of things. Yeah. And again, like Olivia, I like Marvel. And yeah. so I would say that's a fandom I'm a part of, sort of. <laughs> Maybe not as much as she is, but definitely I, I do like Marvel a lot. All right, we're nearing the end. I'm going to do a bunch of rapid fire questions. So okay. here we go. Ready. Here we go. Uh, first, we'll do Michael and then uh, okay. Kelsey. All right. And uh, superpower uh, invisibility, teleportation, lightsaber color, purple. Also purple. Yes. Celebrity crush. For the fifth time, Chris Evans. It's Chris Evans. Chris Evans. <laughs> Florence Pugh. Celebrity look alike. Ooh, I've gotten Brendan Yuri or uh uh. The, Josh, no, not Josh. Uh, help! <laughs> Drake, whatever his last name is, from Drake and Josh. Drake Bell. Drake, Drake Bell? Drake Bell in the old days. Brendan Urie, sometimes. Um, Adam Scott, or is it Andrew Scott? I get them mixed up. <laughs> yes, those are them. Okay. Um, I have been told that I look slightly similar to, uh, what's her name? Play she plays Mantis in, in Guardians. Oh, yes, yes. That's the only one that I can think of. So, yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Palm Clementio. <laughs> Dream co-star. Leonardo DiCaprio and Meryl Streep. <laughs> um, oh my god. Um, Zendaya? Hmm. What do you think about you? I am an Eagle Scout. I even got extra merit badges, so I have my gold, silver, and bronze palms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me too. Um, again, Marvel fan. Um, or uh, I am a proud Hufflepuff. Mm -hmm. Do you guys collect anything? I don't collect much, but I do collect patches for my backpack, which I love wherever I go or things I do. So, patches. There's one point that I was collecting pins, like this one, but um, right now I have like a collection of crystals going on and I'm getting, uh, I'm building my collection as we speak. <laughs> That's all the questions I have for today. Thank you for coming down here to interview guys. I mean, this is kind of our bit of a promo moment for you guys. Yeah. So yeah. we're glad, to, I'm glad to have you guys here. Thanks for having Thank us. You for having us yeah. Thanks for listening. Culture Slate will be um, releasing Sketched Out coming soon. See you then. <laughs>